Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigil here and welcome back to another video. So in this one we're going to talk about the Valentine's Day sale. We're going to take a look at the chests that are in the store. And first of all, quick mention about the Arena Invasion we got over here. So we're going to have um, Batman Ninja Harley invading the Arena pretty much. And uh, she's fine. You can drop her either three or four times a day. Let me know in the comments. Correct me please. It's either three or four times I think it might be three times only, but she's not the greatest character and you shouldn't necessarily be focused on this. But hey, it's some free shards and she gives passively some attack to the Batman Ninja team just by being in her roster. So I guess you could go for that. Now let's take a look at the store section. First of all, we get Zutana power up on a little bit of a discount. I don't think Zutana needs gears, but hey, if you're not comfortable with your current Zutana situation, you might as well open this until you get one gear, because you get that one gear, you get some health in there, you get some defense in there, and you're gonna die less often maybe with her, so I guess you could get the gears from here. This is absolute garbage. Why does this exist? I wonder if the people who are putting this over here are actually aware that you're gonna get all the gears that this man has from the achievements as soon as you unlock him. I'm, I'm not sure if they're aware of this, but they, they put this on sale for some reason. And for some reason, there's something going on between, between Zatanna and Batman. And boy, I think that's like Constantine. Oh, Valentine's not coming back to why is he stealing Constantine's girl? But yeah, I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. But yeah, Zatanna gear chests, you can open a couple if you feel like you're struggling with your Zatanna and you need a bit more tankiness. Arkham Knight Batman power up, you have no, no reason to open it for gears. And you have no reason to open it trying to get shards. Also, this is 20. Is it 20, generally speaking? No, he still got that bug where... The, I mean, not that bug, but that old chest design where it's half the chances. His legendary chest also has half the chances compared to the other legendary chest, so that's weird. This chest, this chest should not exist in the game. If you ever bought this, I'm, I'm very sorry for you. Now let's take a look at kind of the main thing over here, and uh, I'll see how many gems I have on the secondary account because I might open a couple of these. So this is the uh, opposite attract chest, uh, and this is gonna basically be. Uh, a Raven Legendary Chest and the Beast Boy Legendary Chest combined. It's gonna have um, chances for both of them and they're not like split, like you get half the chance for Raven and half the chance for Beast Boy, like have the normal chance. Or do you? You might actually get that. Uh, it, it's it's weird with some of those, like this, I think it's an 8%... No, it's a, no, you get a full chance as you get for a normal Legendary Chest actually in those. Do we have a normal Legendary Chest in the store right now? No, we don't, but I'm pretty sure you get a normal chance for a Legendary Chest, and you get them cheaper than a Legendary Chest. Now, obviously, there's gonna be a chest that people want me to compare this with, and that chest is... It's this one, and uh, yeah, sorry for the Russian type of deal, I had to dig this out of a data mining channel. Uh, but yeah, this is the chest that people are gonna compare the current chest with, so let's take a look at that. And for reference, those are gonna be the chances that uh, are gonna be in uh, the uh, chest that we're gonna compare this with. Okay, so this is the calculation. Let me explain myself for a bit uh, how I calculate those. It's a very simple process, so uh, if we have a 2% um, chance, for example, to drop 75 shards for Beast Boy, that means that if we open 100 chests, we're gonna, on average, get ourselves to uh, get this two times. So we're gonna get the 75 shards two times for opening 100 chests, right? And you just go ahead and you multiply all those uh, uh, shards with the chance number. You're gonna get a little bit of a weird result when it's 0.5% which it's still the average because on average with 0 0.5 half of the people are gonna get it in 100 openings half of the people are not gonna get it in 100 openings and you just uh do all the chances for both of the chest x 100 and you see the total amounts and then you also compare the prices and um, by doing that this is the results i came with this is the old chest right that's gonna cost you for uh, 100 openings is gonna cost the four uh, 450,000 gems and with average luck this is the old chest yet again the uh, chest that I showed you previously uh, this is gonna be seven uh, it's gonna be 412 beast boy shards and 1031 raven shards like, like you're never gonna get this exact values 
uh, if you open 100 chests because everybody's luck is going to be different but this is on average what you should expect you might get a lot more lucky you might get a lot less lucky and the total shards is going to be 1443 i personally value both of those characters uh the same they are in the top three characters in the game with batman drowns and um uh, I don't think we should value any less because, for example, the other chest is going to ha have a higher yield of Raven Shards, but I don't think that's too relevant. So we're just going to combine them and we get a total of 1,443 on average for 100 openings for the old chest. Now, the new chest is going to have on average 705 for Raven and 705 for Beast Boy after 100 openings. And it's going to be a total amount of 1,010 shards, which is less than the usual one. However, I feel like the price difference is big enough to the point where it justifies the fact that we get a bit, a bit less shards here. And honestly, the way to look at this is the old chest, which is not necessarily the old chest. It's the old chest because it was introduced previous to this, but it's not like we're not going to see that in the game anymore. But with the previous one, that was a pretty good chest. And this one, in my opinion, is a bit of a better version of that chest. Like, it's nothing too crazy, but it's a bit of a better version. And honestly, I'm relatively happy with that so yeah i do recommend this chest as two of the best characters in the game and this is currently the absolute best way to unlock them because generally speaking if you want to go for legendary characters specifically with some exceptions like Grot has an eight percent chance to drop from some chests arcanite then has a six percent but for a character that is not in that situation uh, you are going to be the best off opening the legendary chest for that character and this is combining two legendary chests and even decreasing the price so yeah this is this is a pretty decent chest i actually recommend you open this okay now that we're done with the big one let's also take a look at these special offers we're gonna have the ah well i lucky back bro uh, i always get a little bit of a taste of vomit in my mouth every single time i see a lucky bag yeah you're gonna you're gonna be able to gamble with this uh, trying to get yourself uh, a uh Arcanet Ben or Zatanna, and I don't think there's a cap for this. They let you go wild, like they let you spend countless amounts of money here. And um, there's also going to be some gold shards. Uh, look, as usual with those bundles, if you just started the goddamn game and you're not looking specifically to get any of the legendary characters, and you're not going to keep gambling until you get all the legendary characters in this bundle, you could. Like, get one or two of them to get a bit of a head start in the game if you're looking for that, you know, in nine champions or not. There's better bundles for that, but they're currently not in the game because they're for certain celebrations. But, hey. Um, but, yeah, this is not good. Unless you're a new player looking for some quick characters. And there's also going to be a sale on the uh, Beast Boy gear pack and the Raven gear pack. I don't recommend either of them because this is heavily predatory. Uh, you're gonna have to wait for them if you want to spend money on the gears, of course, and you don't want to open the chest. You're better off waiting for them to have a character offer like Black Adam does over here. Because what that effectively does is it gives you the chance to buy the gears at uh, level 10 for uh, 10 bucks. Uh, this is gonna be 20 bucks, even though it's on a sale. We got, we got a little bit of a discount here, guys. But even if it was on a 50% discount, the additional money is not worth 20 more levels on the gears. So yeah, I don't recommend you get any of the uh, Gears Rider, Beast Boy, or Raven right now. Wait for them to appear as a character in in the in the store and buy them then. I mean, look, if you don't care about spending twenty dollars instead of ten dollars, and you don't feel like the wait is worth it, just just go ahead, my dude. It's your money, but uh, I feel like you should be aware that this is a bit predatory and it's never worth to get the gears at level thirty. But y'all, having said, thanks so much. Actually, hold on, let me see how many gems I got on my secondary accounts. Okay, we do have we do have a couple of gems on the uh, on the secondary account. So let's see how this goes. Oh oh, this is still very good. This is still very good though. But I uh, I was for a second like this is the one that has guaranteed uh, uh, unlock on the character. Like is this the one that has uh, 200, 200 shards for draw? But it's not. Okay, so we got. We got Beast Boy on the goddamn secondary account. Did I drop only Beast Boy shards? Yes. Yeah. That. Oh boy, we got Beast Boy on the secondary account. Let's go. Let's go.
Bro, honestly, I'm gonna stop here. I'm just gonna stop here. I don't think it's worth spending more gems. Like, I could open a couple of ones, but... Boy, am I happy with this. This is great, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye!